Hey guys, it's Steph, and in today's video, I am filming a what I eat in a day when I am not mukbanging. Don't expect this to be super healthy either. <laughs> But this is just what I usually eat in a day and I know you guys usually think I eat lots of fast food all the time and stuff But I do eat lots of things that I just make at home So I'm going to film all day what I'm making how I make it and a little bit of eating it So if you guys don't already follow my tiktok I film what I eat in a day's like literally twice a week But a tiktok can only be up to 60 seconds. So it's very quick um, it just has music playing in the background with just text. So I wanted to do a full YouTube video so I can like talk and explain why I like this stuff or whatever. But yeah, if you want to see more of these, just check out my TikTok right here. And you guys can see more varieties of what I eat because I eat different stuff literally every single day. Alright, so let's go make some breakfast. I am really, really hungry. And yeah, come along with me. Okay, so typically I eat like a smaller breakfast. I don't really eat too big of a breakfast. Hello, cutie. Um, so usually I eat like oatmeal or yogurt, but I like to make it look all pretty and add like fruit on top. Um, sometimes I eat eggs and toast or avocado toast a lot as well. But today I'm feeling oatmeal because I'm really cold and because I'm in short sleeves, but it's like 70 degrees out, but I'm freezing. And oatmeal, I just love like how warm it is. And I like eating warm food, especially when I wake up. So this is um, the oatmeal I have right now. It is maple and brown sugar. This is my favorite brand for sure though. The apples and cinnamon one is super good as well. And also the cinnamon roll. So yeah, you guys definitely should try out this brand. It's really healthy too. I think one pouch is like 100 calories or something. Okay, so what I do is I make the oatmeal. I know there's a tag on my pants. I don't ignore it. <laughs> so I like to make it in a separate cup that I microwave it in. So you just open it up and you dump it in. And then on the pouch it says like fill up here with water. So you just fill it up, dump the water in. Then you just mix it and you microwave it for like three minutes or so. Two and a half minutes. And while that is microwaving, we are going to cut up our banana. So I love putting banana on my oatmeals and yogurts because I typically don't really like eating bananas just by itself. Like, I don't know, just, I like it better like on things. So then how I cut it is I just do really skinny slices and I keep them together so then I can spread them out on the oatmeal bowl and make it look really pretty. Great for summer. This is like how they do the acai bowls, like how they decorate them so cute on the top. So once you have like a line of bananas, you just like full out, <laughs> can I talk? You just flatten it out like that and that'll go on top of the oatmeal bowl. And then because I have the rest of this banana, I just chop it up in big pieces. So my oatmeal is done. So what I do now is I put the big chunks of banana at the bottom of the bowl. And uh, that basically just like raises the oatmeal up more. So like the cup or the bowl looks more full. So I will just put the oatmeal on top over the banana, just like that. Okay, so now we have our oatmeal in the bowl. I'm just going to take a knife and pick up the bananas like this so they stay in a good even row. Place them on my oatmeal bowl and kind of space them out. And then you have a pretty row of bananas. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some of this Skippy Natural Peanut Butter in a squeeze bag, which this is really nice for oatmeal bowls and all that because you can add just like the perfect squeeze in the middle. So, almost out. I'm just going to squeeze some right in the middle. And then it looks like this. And I was going to add raspberries, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm going to add a little spoon of chia seeds on top. And then finally, some cinnamon because, oh, I love cinnamon. So here is my breakfast bowl. Very cute. I should probably add the cinnamon and chia seeds underneath the bananas and peanut butter so it looks more pretty, but it doesn't really matter. It tastes good. <laughs> and yeah, so breakfast is pretty simple and uh, I love oatmeal so much. I think it's so good. And you know who has really good oatmeal? I haven't had it in a long time though, but I remember it being really, really good. McDonald's. I know, isn't that weird? 
Like when I worked there for a little bit, I got oatmeal like every single time I worked there because it was like, you know, slightly healthy. <laughs> like off their menu, it's like a healthy one. And it's so good with like the little, they put like little diced apples inside. So if you guys don't know the point of chia seeds, um, I'll give you the best description I have because honestly, I don't know. I just know they're good for you. Um, they don't have no flavor at all. I add them on my stuff just because it's supposed to be really good for you and it's supposed to help keep you full. Not, not sure why. Let's ask Google. Hey Google, what are the benefits of chia seeds? On the website healthline.com, they say, chia seeds contain large amounts of fiber and omega-3 fatty acids, plenty of high-quality protein, and several essential minerals and antioxidants. They okay. may improve mm -hmm. digestive health, blood levels of heart-healthy omega-3s, and risk factors for heart disease and diabetes. Yeah, so really good. I know some people just drink it in water, um, but when you put them in water, they get really big and slimy. So I don't like that texture, but when it's in like oatmeal or yogurt, or stuff like that, you don't even taste it. So yeah, I always add them in my stuff. Okay, so I got some cucumber lemon water that I will be like refilling and drinking all day. Oh, that water is like so refreshing. I love that stuff. And that also has really good benefits. So like even like small little stuff like this does have good benefits. I know cucumbers and lemon help with your skin, also speeds up your digestion, and it just tastes super refreshing and good, so. Yeah, I love it. And I don't really put ice in my water either. I like it better, like, just room temperature. <laughs> but guys, I'm gonna finish eating my oatmeal and I'll get back to you guys whenever I eat next. Hi guys, I'm back here with a snack. So I just tried these for the first time and holy cow, amazing. They are these little Greek yogurt balls with blueberries in it, I got them at Target and uh, only 45 calories a cup and they look like little dippin dots they are so good like the texture is literally the same as dippin dots they basically taste like dippin dots i'm having a snack just had my oatmeal 30 minutes ago but i was still hungry so now i'm having some of this Okay, so now it is lunchtime and I'm gonna be making a salad. I've been eating salads recently, actually. I know before my videos I've said how I like hated salads, but I had lots of like good stuff in there so then it tastes good. So, first what I use is the spring mix. So I put some lettuce. Next I add some ranch dressing. And then next I'm gonna put some honey roasted Pecans and cranberries and glazed walnuts. So we're gonna give it some crunch and flavor with some nuts. And I love dried cranberries. And then I'm gonna cut up this cucumber. And then I'm gonna add a few of these bacon bits. Oh, not that. Then I'm gonna cut up this cucumber. And lastly, I just add some croutons. Oh, and I almost forgot feta we got this new feta at Aldi's the other day I took a bite out of it and tried it it's very good be good on pasta and stuff but I'm gonna add some of that to my salad as well and here's my salad look how pretty and good okay I'm gonna mix up my salad I'm obsessed with feta this tomato one's really good I wonder if they have like other flavors too but I tried French feta the other day for the first time yeah, French feta. Oh, that is so good and creamy. And it's almost dinner time, and look what my mom is making. She's making homemade baguette bread. This is like the Italian herbs and cheese kind from Subway. And we're gonna have some sandwiches. Okay, so now that the bread is finally cooked, here's what the slice looks like. A little sub bun, and I'm going to make my sandwich. So I'm putting Hungarian spread down on the bread. If you guys have never had this, it's really good. A little bit spicy with Hungarian peppers. So then I'm adding some provolone, some salami. Okay, so we're gonna put a big flab of turkey on here. Flab. <laughs> some spinach to be healthy and arugula, I see. And tomatoes. This is like a perfect summer sandwich. Mini cucumber slices. Gives it a good crunch. Throw them on your eyes. 
<laughs> and have a spa day. Gonna put some banana peppers as well. And also, can't forget the jalapenos. As you guys know, I'm obsessed with them. As you guys say, I'm pregnant because I'm obsessed with jalapenos. <laughs> I'm not pregnant. <laughs> and a little bit of pepper. And look how cute that is. My little Italian herbs and cheese sub. And also, who cannot have a sandwich without some chips? They just go perfect together. And some chip dip. I'm just using these kettle chips. Very good. I like them better than Lay's. Alright, here's yours. You gotta close them up. These things are so good. I could eat like a jar by itself. What's that? Banana peppers. Banana peppers? Banana. Sound like you said banana. You already finished eating. She's hungry all the time. That was my bread. Good. You ever try jalapeno straight out of that thing? Tasty. <laughs> Ended up having some cheese balls. So good. <laughs> I put a big bowl. I'm not gonna eat all these though. They're so addicting. I think it's because you can just throw them in, literally pop them in and eat like literally so many of them so quick. They're dangerous. Mm. Mm. Now it's like 11 o'clock at night. I'm gonna eat a chocolate covered strawberry that my boyfriend got me. This one has like toffee on it. So I'm gonna have this one. There's already a lot missing. These things are so good. No toffee ones? Honestly, my favorite. So you guys, that is basically what I eat in a day. I mean, most of my days are different, but if you guys would like to see more of these, check out my TikTok because I make these all the time on there. And I know you guys love to see what I eat because I feel like I eat some pretty good stuff. Well, if you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, click my notification bell, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.